Kuno was a fun, easy game that is played approximately every three minutes. 20 numbers are drawn from the 80 available on the Kino display screen. Match the numbers you play to the numbers drawn for a chance to win over $1 million for a mere $1. Today, I'm showing you guys how to replicate this game on Microsoft Excel. First, we use the RAN function and drag that down 80 cells. Next, we'll put 1 to 20 on the top here, which will represent uh, the numbers that are displayed on the Kino screen. Now what we do, we enter match large A1, range A1 to A80. And our rank is cell C1. Now here we enter the lookup array, which is again the range A1 to A80. And the match type, we need an exact match, so we'll put zero. I'll just add the absolute references now. Enter. Yep, so what this signifies is that cell 33 is the largest of all the random numbers between 0 and 1. And that's why we put it at rank 1. As we see, we go down to cell 33. Yep, it's the highest, 0.94. And if we refresh the cells, we get cell 5 and we see that's the highest. Refresh it again. 42, 42 is the highest. And we do that across to the corresponding cells. So this means cell 57 is the 20th highest. All right, now we have the 20 drawn Kino numbers. We want to display it. So I am going to put one, 80 numbers in a neat little graph here. And we'll just split the heads from tails here. Yep, perfect. Okay. Now we, in order to highlight the cells here that are drawn, so this number 79 should be highlighted as well as number 49 according to this, we need to go into conditional formatting. First, however, we'll name this range here. We'll name it lads. All right. Now before conditional formatting, we highlight the whole range of numbers so that it applies to all of them and it will highlight all the numbers in that range and nothing else. So conditional formatting key on the home tab here, highlight cells rule, you can just click any because we'll enter a formula. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Okay. The formula we will use is count if. Now we enter the range, which will be lads, we name this. And then we'll enter in cell C5, which is number one, because um, what we have to enter in here is just a formula that is true, or an argument that is true. And so. We'll enter in this now, so it will come up with either true or false. We want it green. Now, what this is telling you is that if C5, this cell here, appears in 
any one is any one of the numbers in the range lads, it will come up with true and therefore it will be highlighted. However, if it isn't, it won't be highlighted and it will come up in f as false if we just entered the formula in another cell. So we'll click OK. And there we go. All the numbers in this range here in lads are highlighted. Number one here, highlighted. Let's start number 70, highlighted. Number 66, highlighted. Number 13, highlighted. So you can see how this makes it more visually appealing. And as we refresh the cells, it changes every time. The beauty of conditional formatting. Now we've got to represent heads and tails. So I put heads here, tails here. And we'll assume heads is obviously the first bit and tails is the lower bit. So heads, tails. For heads, we'll go count if range lads criteria. Make sure to put this in um, commas. Oh, yeah, commas. Um, under or equal to 40, 11. Now for tails, just we can do 20 minus heads, but to make sure it's correct, we'll do the same thing. Count if range lads criteria, this time we'll say above 40. As I refresh the cells, each time it equals 20, which is correct. And there we go, we're done. Make sure to subscribe and like. Tell me in the comments what video you want to see next, and goodbye, lads. Thank you.